Hello, Popper fans, it's Methodical, and unfortunately, we lost in the previous round in this Popper challenge, so only made it to the quarterfinals. To make it up to all of you for having these placeholder videos, I'm going to show you this lovely picture of a hedgehog that is currently the monarch. And as I said in the quarterfinals, I'm going to do a bit of a wrap up as well. So that way, you know, two birds, one stone, and it'll also pad out the video a little bit so people won't know where we lost, so don't, don't let anybody know. Uh, after the games, I'm actually pretty happy with how this 75 played out. Um, some considerations, the, the Molten Reigns are really good against a Tron Heavy meta, so currently I'm going to keep those in. If, we, if you're not expecting much Tron in your meta, of course, uh, those aren't as great. This uh, setup currently isn't that good against Burn as well, since we don't have the, um, any of the lone missionaries in our sideboard. Uh, the main deck I'm also quite happy with. I like how the Searing Blaze works out and the Seeker of the Way. Perhaps it might be correct to switch some of the Seekers for something else, but yeah. Um, or from what I learned in this challenge is uh, I'm going to be paying a bit more attention to mulliganing over the next little while. I feel like I made some poor mulliganing choices over this series. And against elves, perhaps it's a bit more it's a it's more correct to try and pull for those electricries. Or perhaps we just want to have a third electricery on a sideboard, although I'm not really sure what I'd want to pull out for that. I really do like having the three molten rain effects. Um it really helps having a compounding, like just having lots of those, but perhaps we do need another electricery. Of course, we did play against two two Tron decks and only one elves, so I think our sideboard did work out fairly well with what we played against this challenge. Um, so if anyone would like to add any comments or have any questions or concerns, uh, please let them uh, leave them down in the comment section. Uh, I do enjoy having some discussion around these decks, and it helps not just uh, myself by bringing new cards to my attention or different alternatives, it also helps you and everyone else who reads the comment section, and I'm happy to help people out who would like to play uh, my my variants. Yeah. So once again, thank you everyone for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And I will see everyone in the next video series. Have yourselves a great one.